Okay. Brandon, many, many thanks for coming in and joining us, and many congratulations. What a fantastic afternoon, what a fantastic week for you. Just give us your thoughts on being the Volvo Golf Champion. Yeah, um, it's been amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to sit here on a Sunday afternoon where I sat last week, uh, this time. It's just it's been phenomenal. Um, you know, my golf really, really shown that, you know, I've, I've been playing good. And, you know, it's just been going my way this week, same as last week, but I'm, I'm delighted. I'm so chuffed to be here. It's, uh, it's difficult sometimes to follow a win with another good performance. A lot of players find it difficult. You obviously found something, I realise playing at home helped you with the family and friends here, but you obviously found something that just pushed you on this week, didn't you? Yeah, um, you know, I think the confidence from last week, uh, you know, played an important role. Um, you know, I really wanted to play it this week. I think that's, you know, as any player, if, if there's a tournament at the home course, you know, they'll want to do well, they'll want to perform, and, you know, they'll, they'll give it their best. And, you know, it's just one of those one of those things where it's been a dream to play uh, at fan court. Um, and it's just awesome to have a win here. Um, and to win a tournament of this calibre is, is really just unbelievable. Yeah. Not, not a bad couple of players to beat in that playoff. Uh, yeah. They've done quite well, those two, haven't they? Yeah, um, you know, I was lying in bed last night reading a couple of articles and, you know, there was 14 majors behind me and chasing chasing myself and Nicholas and I thought, geez, you know, it's it's a big field coming there and there's a lot of history and a lot of that, but, you know, it's just one of those days where, you know, you have to stick with your routine, stick with what you're doing and, you know, fortunately for me at the end of the day I was yeah. but, um, you know, just getting on the on the tee, you know, with Ernie and Retief at the end there in the playoff was, was unbelievable. Um, I must say, there was, there was a really calm calm about me um, the whole playoff all actually um, I think you know I was more I was more nervous and more you know pumped up going down the last hole the 18th you know when I walked up the fairway and that but it was one of those things and it's just awesome knowing that you know um, I've, I've beaten you know Retief and Ernie in a playoff and you know it's two of my idols and know that I've done it before and I can I know I can do it again just talk us through the playoff because you did quite well to recover. I mean, you obviously had a chance to win in regulation, but you did quite well to regain your composure. Just talk us through the playoff hole. Yeah, um, I was first on the tee. Um, you know, I felt really comfy the whole week on that tee shot. Um, you know, and, and that didn't feel any any different. Um, you know, I just thought I'm just going to hit a low little fade going in there, and you know, I managed to keep it on the fairway and. You know, I had I had a long way. I didn't hit it as good as I as I hoped, but I had a long way in for my second. I think it was two seventy two yards, you know, going in, and you know, I was a rescue. And um, you know, I told Zach I'm going to hit a little fade going in there, and I, I actually just I thinned it a little bit. I just missed it a, a fraction and came out a lot lower than than what I was hoping for. But you know, that's one of those things. One of those bounces that just goes your way, and you know, helped me at the end of the day, and just managed to skip up there. And then, you know, I thought after a tiff, after a tiff, you know. You, you had a tough lie in the rough there, and I thought after he left, he's at the top. I thought, you know, maybe a two putt is, is, is good enough. And, you know, the, the last thing I wanted to do is just chase it by. Um, I knew that putt was, was pretty quick, but, you know, it wasn't as quick as I thought going down the hill, but it's just unbelievable. Sure. Thanks for that. We'll take some questions. There in the front row, we'll start us off. Thank you. Michael Sherman from Sarpa. Brandon, um, 49 events. No wins on the European Tour, two tournaments later, two in a row, where to from here? Um, you know, hopefully it doesn't stop. Um, it's one of those things I think every player out here, you know, they try to get as, as many as they can, as much, and it's just one of those things. Um, I think I've just been running with emotion, you know, I'll, I'll keep playing, I'll keep playing till I, till I'm exhausted and till I, till I find that, you know, it's time to take a break. But. You know, I'm just going to keep going. I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to the next couple of weeks. You know, I've, um, I've always looked forward to, to playing Dubai um, and to playing, you know, tournaments of that calibre as well is, is, is a different thing for me. So, you know, it's, it's a thing going back tonight and making new goals and, you know, taking it from there. Craig, Brandon, many congratulations. Thanks, sir. Uh, Craig Gray from the Times. Just, um, what was your immediate thought process after you missed the putt in regulation? Because uh, outwardly, you look distraught and uh, sort of how did you pull yourself together? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's different when you know you, you've got a three footer or four footer and you know if you make it, you know, you're a hero and, and you've won. Um, you know, when I missed it, I didn't really think I had, I, I had a bad putt. Um, you know, I might have slight mis, misread the line and a little bit low on speed, but I think it's one of those things where, you know, you don't want to overdo it. I didn't want to miss it on the high side. I wanted to hit it in, but, you know, it's one of those things I, you know, I think what I did well was you know, it was like I didn't really realise it was the 18th hole. You know, it was like the playoff was there's another hole waiting. Um, 
So it was one of those, you know, Gary, Gary Play in his book also had it on the one hole where he said he was playing, he's playing, and then they, all of a sudden he's done. You know, I think it was one of those, one of those things where all of a sudden, you, you know, it's, it's time to finish. So it was just one of those. Graham, down the front, please. Thank you. Hi, uh, Graham Otway from the UK. Well done, Brandon. Um, Brandon, um, in terms of new goal setting, I mean, you've got a two-year exemption now. I mean, it just changes everything for you, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've, I've got my wins now. Um, I'm definitely not gonna gonna stop yet. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going on, keep winning as many as I can. Um, you know, I definitely think now, you know, one of the goals will, will definitely be getting into the top 50. You know, and taking it from there. Um, you know, I came into the week. I told my coach and, and Zach and, and everybody um, that knows me. I told them, you know, my next goal is to to be ready for the match play, to get into the top 64 in the world, and, and taking it from there. And I don't know how close I am now or what's the situation, but. I think I'm pretty close, so grinding on the next couple of weeks and you know trying to get to that that position where I want to be. Yes, Louis. Okay, um, I'm Global Golf Post. Um, can you tell me? Did you see any school friends or school teachers in the crowd today? Yeah, um, you know the whole week there's been there's been familiar faces, um, people from school, teachers, you know friends from the area. You know it's, it's been unbelievable. You know people I've played golf with before. It's it's. Been, you know, it's been a spectacular week, and you know, just today, running it off, you know, walking up 18, knowing, you know, they're all they're all supporting me, and you know, coming down there with Ernie and Retief, you know, you, you automatically think it's going to be more for them, but you know, there was a lot of a lot of support and a lot of cheering on for me, so you know, it was an unbelievable feeling. But you know, a lot of my school friends came out that I haven't seen in a long time, so you know, that's been unbelievable. It's it's, it's really it's really awesome come, for them coming out and supporting. And did you notice them before the end, or? Um, well, obviously, you know, when you when you walk through through the tee boxes to the fairways, you know, there's, I mean, the crowds really, they, they circle the tee boxes. So I, I don't really think you can miss them. Um, but it, it's nice, you know, it's, it's really, it's put a smile on my face every time I saw one of them. And, you know, it just gives you a little bit more relaxation. Graham, you finished top amateur in the SA Open at 17. Are you surprised it's taken you for six years to get to this level? Or... Do you feel that you've learned a lot over that time? No, um, you know, obviously, you know, the earlier you get, the better. I think, um, you know, obviously, I would have preferred being in this position a lot earlier in my in my career. But you know, I've I've learned I've learned the hard way. Um, I've been on tour, I lost my card, and you know, I managed to get it back. And you know, I've learned I've learned through the things I've done wrong in the past, and that um, you know, you know, my dad and, and my my management company they they've told me you know it's never a bad thing, you know, going backwards before going forwards and, and achieving great things. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I've learned my lesson. Um, I think I am a better player than what I want, than what I was then. I know it for a fact, and you know, it's just nice being in this position so that I can, you know, I can go forward and, you know, focus on the things to come. Michael, Brendan, you going to move to around about 80th with this win in the rankings? Um, any hopes of making it to the Masters? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the next couple of weeks is, is one of those things where, you know, anything can happen. Um, you know, I just hope I hope my you know the game stays the way it is. I hope my, my energy levels stay up and that um, you know for a fact I'll I'll definitely take it easy the next couple of days, you know, go out and play the pram out of Bidavi and, and take it from there. But you know, definitely getting into getting to top fifty is I think every player out there's goal. You know, um secure a major. Um, you know, it'd be it would be an unbelievable year if I can achieve that going into the Masters. That would just be, you know, a highlight of undescribable. Yes, great. Thank you. Sorry, Brandon. Um, uh, just a word about uh, Nicholas missing that short putt. You must have sort of fell for him at the time as well, having just done it yourself. Yeah, um, you know, it was a bit unlucky on, on 18. Um, it's one of those things. Um, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna hope it on a player. Um, you know, it could have been it could have been me in that situation. But you know, it's one of those things. You know, he had a, he had a good approach shot to to 18. It was just a little a pity it went long. But you know. There's nothing you can do, you know. I could have, I could have made the putt in the first situation. I could have cancelled everybody. Um, it's just, it's just the game of golf, I suppose. Any more for Brandon? Thank you very much. Well done, Brandon. Many congratulations.